guys, welcome to Battle for Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings playthrough. Sauron's eye is fixed on the White City. If it falls, so falls all of Middle Earth. All of Middle Earth. In As Tirith, the home of Gondor's throne, is the last hope of men to stand against the darkness of Sauron. Oh, look at that. We gotta fight off all that and enjoy doing it as well. <laughs> gates of Minas Tirith. Arnorian gates. Shame you can't upgrade your walls. I don't even know if you can actually do that on this one. On this map. I don't think you. The armies of Mordor here. are approaching. We must prepare the city. So, start off with some archers. Standard. Yeah, you can upgrade your uh, your all your, your walls. You can upgrade your walls. I might as well have just done that because you've got a ridiculous amount of money. Not really much to spend it on. So, but maybe, just maybe, we will in the hard mode playthrough with some mods on. Yeah, gonna look forward to that then. So, we got our upgraded army sitting down there, waiting to be uh, put up on the walls. You know what, this was a really easy map to be honest, this was easier than a lot. Let us prepare for this war. Because we must move. Shelob's there like five times as I say it wasn't hard to do because I'm not really playing it on a hard not not playing it on hard difficulty playing it on medium so Be still. it wasn't hard it was just awkward to keep everyone alive Be still. on this one the bonus objective is to uh, rank up a hero Be on your guard, six ranks So that'd be like Mary to rank eight. Uh, I don't actually no, no. I think you got to rank some hero to rank six. That's it. <coughs> Not six ranks, because think about it. Gandalf won't be able to rank up six ranks anyway, because the max rank is ten. So it must be like. Rank six, get a, get a hero to ranks up to six on this uh, map. Stand ready, I like how we still have Boromir as well. The smithy. We've improved We've improved the smithy. The smithy. That's the joy of games here. Yeah. You know, what I mean, you can just fuck with the continuity <laughs> of the time. So. Boromir is still rocking, rocking in the free world. Get all our upgrades going there. Make sure our troops all. Uh, I have to admit, this mission was fun. It was easy, but 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 it was it was so fun. Oh, oh okay, so rank eight. Get your hero to rank eight. So that means that Gandalf only has to get to uh, one more rank for us to do That should be easy. I'm going to be honest and say I don't know if I did it or not. Because I don't know if I did it. Men. 
See how fast they're dying there as well, that's just awesome. <laughs> that's the beauty of having, you know, maxed out army. Because with me on this game, I have to admit, like, I used to feel like the command limit was too small. And I always felt like I wanted to have just, like, unlimited amount of soldiers and just, you know cheap troops, everything like that, so you can just spam out, you know, spam troops, but I've actually, like, I've actually realised now with this game, it's not about the sizes of your army, which obviously does help, but it's not about that, it seems to me more like they want you to rank up your troops met powerful armies, you know what I mean, whether they're big or small just want you to rank them up and make them, make them more and more and more and more powerful especially in the campaign mode, you know what I mean, that's definitely how you can, how you can style it out because you go from mission to mission with the same troops so Here they come, round two. I left my gates open because I just wanted to prove a point that like, they couldn't get in. But at the same time, they're getting in. <laughs> so, that didn't, go, that didn't work. It's because them, them, them guys were ranked four. So they actually didn't realise at first that they were like higher ranks than the rest of them. Oh, they're all ranked four? Hmm. Oh, wow, I didn't realise that. Got the trebuchets ready. Catapults ready. To strike out. Try and fuck us up. But it's not going to work. So I just close my gates. They're still, still trying to get in, even though the gates closed. <laughs> See ya. Just charging me with archers. What the fuck are the archers gonna do? Well, saying that, if they're charging there with the infant, yeah. Don't listen to me. I, I, I am stupid. That's what I am. So my heroes aren't really getting much action here. But that's good. I was just happy that like we were defending it as well as we were, kind of thing. Because honestly, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it to be like this. But then it just proves that like the army that I did have, I'd managed to level them up in such a way where. You know, because this isn't the Alf Skiliath army, I don't think. Is it? Yeah, it is it? No, this is the Alf Skiliath army. It's the army from Alf Skiliath. It would have been good if you could have, like, the army that Sam made from a. Kirith. Ungar. If we would have had the same, oh yeah, so I summon, I summon the army here because it's just continuity in it. You know what I mean? You gotta keep the same as the, uh, you gotta keep the same as the book. You gotta keep it the same. You can't, and the film. I don't know about the book. I ain't even read this far in the book. I ain't even read. The first chapter of the first book of the Lord of the Rings. I've read like the first chapter of the um, Silmarillion. 
And I swear to God, that book is like reading the Bible. It's actually, you know, it's probably actually harder than reading the Bible. The Bible was written so that anyone could, any man of uh, uh, literate kind of thing could read it. But the Silmarillion is like, oh my God, the, 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 it's not so much the creation story. The creation story is beautiful in the Silmarillion, you know what I mean, about Morgoth leaving the uh, Aenor and trying to like cause a war and that and, you know, he creates like disharmony with his song and stuff like that because he starts singing it with like a discourse and that causes some of the Aenor to try and change their song to fit. Morgoth's song and everything like that. So that's a that's beautiful, like what you call it, like uh, imagery. That's it. It's beautiful imagery with the song and that hearing the song, the song of creation and everything like that. Because you know that that is kind of that could be something very truthful about the way the world was created. You know what I mean? About it being a song and that. You know what I mean? you think about it you know there's lots lots of things in the world that kind of represent their own music you know what I mean like you just listen to nature you know what I mean in the middle of summer it's got its own kind of song it's got form of life you know what I mean so but it's when it starts getting into the actual part with the first age how the wars start happening and that. And, uh, it's just. It's too. I don't know. For me, it feels too. Like above my kind of comprehension level of words. And. Yeah, so I couldn't. I couldn't get into it at the end. But. You know, I'm older now. My. My. Might try and read the Silmarillion in some kind of form one day. You never know. You never know. Might happen. Been getting into my books actually saying that just lately. Them terrors just got fucked. I couldn't even do anything. Trolls. Trolls can't do anything either. Trolls are. Uh, Yeah, that one comes back and tries to fucking smash these guys here. I don't like that. But you know what? Them charges really do come in handy. Keep taking out the uh, lumber mills and stuff. Because, man, that's important. So, guys, we'll continue this in the next episode. Ciao.